It's getting nicer outside and the school year is nearing the finish line. It's time for the 2024 high school spring sports season. Hi everybody, I'm Owen Heffron and welcome to this DAF Media Special as we preview the spring sports season. Jeff Braymeyer enters season 41 as head coach of the Darien Boys Lacrosse team. The schedule is once again loaded, featuring six out-of-state opponents in one of the best private school programs in the East. The Wave failed to win a conference or state title last season. They'd like to change that in 2024. This year, we have a, a, a heavy senior class and a heavy uh, some underclassmen that'll step up. The whole team is really excited just because, you know, last year we obviously fell short, but uh, we only graduated three starters, so we have a lot of guys coming back. And I think that aspect of, you know, maturity and previous experience really helps us as a team skip some of the things that maybe we had to focus on more last year. So um, I think we're very, you know, ready and should be um, producing a, a good schedule and um, some wins this year. As always, expectations are high for head coach Lisa Lindley and the Darien girls lacrosse team, one of the top public high school lacrosse programs in the country. Last year's team had a dream season, winning both a conference and state title. This year, Darien looks to make another historic run. This year, we're just going to start from scratch and have our own expectations and just play our game and hopefully win as much as we can. What I love about this team is that everyone's like every practice, they're hustling, giving it their all. Um, and I think that this like requires everyone to step up a little bit. And I feel like so far we've seen that. And I think throughout the season, everyone will just get better and, and just focus on what we do. Like you said, reloading and um, just getting us back to the place that we ended off last year is going to be um, how we're going to be successful. It's time now to shift our attention to the diamond. The Darien baseball squad made great strides last year, winning 10 games, a solid improvement from the year before. With strong junior and senior classes, it is highly possible the Blue Wave make a strong push to the top of the FCAC this year. I would say this year we have a lineup top to bottom that's all working together just to get the win with a lot of focus. Our team chemistry though is beyond what I've experienced so far in Darien. Um, we have a lot of young guys, that being said, they're ballers, you know, they, they go out and they, they compete every pitch. Um, we've been playing together forever um, and we're really looking to build off of that energy that we bring every single day. The Darien softball team missed out on state playoffs last year for the first time since 2019, but there's plenty of optimism out there on the diamond and players are confident they can return to the postseason. I feel like this year we just have a really positive out, like a positive attitude about how we're going to do and like you said, we're all getting along really, really well. I know we have a lot of talent coming in. Our freshmen and sophomores are great players. They're great people and I think that's really contributing to our team chemistry as well. Um, I think that we gel a lot more as a team this year and um, most importantly, I know we had a rough season last year, but I think this year we're already coming out with some wins and scrimmages and just the energy on the bench is a lot better. So I'm really excited for this season. The boys and girls tennis teams are getting ready for their seasons. Both teams expect to be contenders for postseason hardware. Head coach Lori LaRusso has built the Darien boys volleyball team into a state powerhouse. There's Coach LaRusso inside the DHS main gym, getting her team prepared to compete for a fourth straight state championship and a fifth straight FCAC championship. The schedule is not easy, but the Blue Wave wouldn't have it any other way. Honestly, I love the kind of vibe that the whole team's bringing this year. Obviously, we lost a lot of really key important players last year, but walking into the season with some really high hopes on what we have, that everybody's, they're not scared of the challenge and they're ready to really perform for the whole season. We've been um, undefeated for three years, which can be tough to hold up, um, but we have a pretty good team, and I uh, think we can do pretty well. We are always a competitor. I think that's Darian's motto. We might not dominate anymore like we did last year and the years prior, but we'll always be competing for that state chip. The Darien boys and girls track and field teams return to action this spring. The girls finished 13th last year at the state meet, while the boys finished 18th in the Class L meet. Both teams have a number of talented athletes. The Darien boys and girls rugby teams continue to build their programs. The Darien girls golf team will once again look to swing its way into the state championships in early June. And the sailing team competes in the Fairfield County Sailing League. We hope you enjoyed watching this DAF media special. Again, I'm Owen Heffron, and thank you for tuning in.